That time of the year again, when cinematic marvels from across the world are celebrated all under one roof. The 76th annual Cannes Festival 2023 is all set to begin from today. Apart from the films that feature during the festival, celebrity red carpet looks from the French Riviera also catch everyone's attention. Let's break down on what we can expect this year though. The Year Film Festival is fronted by the world premiere of two major films, Jim Mangold's Indiana Jones and The Dial of Destiny, starring Harrison Ford in his final performance as the character, and Martin Scorsese's epic 1920s Osage Nation drama Killers of the Flower Moon, starring none other than Leonardo DiCaprio. From Anar Kashyap's Kennedy to Rahul Roy starer Agra and Manipuri filmmaker Aribam Syam Sharma's 1990 film Ishanu, among others, are all set to be screened at this year's festival. The 76th edition of the Cannes Film Festival will open with the premiere of Johnny Depp's period drama John De Bari. Depp will walk the red carpet for the film, which will see him play the role of King Louis of France. As far as India representation is concerned, you'll have Manushi Chiller, an actor and former Miss World who will represent India on Khans for the red carpet. She will be walking alongside actors Isha Gupta and Kangambam Tomba, as well as Oscar-winning director Guneet Monga and Union Minister of State for Broadcasting um, El Murugan as well. The daughter of singer Kumar Sanu will also be present at this event. Actor Anushka Sharma will also make her debut for this uh, very famous event, the L'Oreal Paris brand ambassador will attend the celebration of women in film. It's the, the leader of all the film festivals and there's no doubt, yeah, back in 1976 they gave the Palme d'Or to Taxi Driver and that was like a major thing for me because in, in America we were, the film did well, uh, but and it was nominated for a few Academy Awards, but Paul Schrader and myself were not nominated for the picture. And so, but we were, we were, there was appreciation of, there, there, was, there, was, there was interest in the way we worked, the kind of movie we wanted to make. In that period, in the 70s, there was, a, as long as you had an actor with you, that was bankable, you can get some interesting films made. But this was the place to really recognize it and recognize and, and welcome me, especially even a few years earlier with Mean Streets. Job we like it for, we, we never know what, it's going to happen, what the guest is going to ask, whatever time of the day is going to ask it. And especially during the film festival, it's busy 24 hours, 7. And uh, look, looking, it, the, the desk is never going to be empty. It's always going to be quite a lot of people in front. The phones are ringing all over the place. And that's what we like. It's exciting. And you have to be quick. You have to analyze the situation as quick as possible. And, uh, and you know, you need to make these guests really happy. So we're here to do that. And, uh, we're enjoying it. There's lots of after parties of the films on the beaches because it's, you know, we're lucky enough to have them and it's a great scenery. So, so yeah, it's quite busy all day long with, with the restaurants and like that. And in the evening, they'll see the parties of, of the movie of someone else. But uh, no, we have the opening cocktail on the, on the beach, which is going to be very happening also. So we're looking forward to it. We are in the process of speaking with Cyril Dion the French filmmaker and climate activist, because a big climate day is organized for next Monday, and it is not impossible that we will welcome them at the top of the steps to express themselves. You know, I'm wearing the Ukrainian badge on the lapel of my jacket, because Cannes Film Festival's commitments, those that it welcomes and it identifies with, must not be a kind of media moment either. You have to show the permanence of it. 